Hey everyone, Siege here. Welcome back to another video. This is actually very, very requested ever since I made the return meme. And I finally have the motivation to do this. Thankfully. <laughs> so for today, I'm going to be showing you my work process when it comes to making videos. Specifically, animation memes. Because if we're gonna be talking about how I make a series, then that's gonna take forever. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be showing how I work on gacha memes. If you don't know what a gacha meme is, here are some examples. Now, before we dive into it, I just want to say that this video is actually a tablet review at the same time. This video is brought to you by Gaoman. Gaoman, as you already know, has been sending me a lot of their products for me to review, and they sent me another one. A very big one. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Gaoman PD2200. This tablet is really big. <laughs> this is the biggest tablet I've ever received. You can tell by this unboxing part, I was struggling because my space was really, really limited and I was being really, really careful because I am scared that my camera would fall. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I was struggling here. My apologies. I am not the strongest person you may know. <laughs> Alright, um, the first thing you will see is this white foam, which we won't need. <laughs> so screw that thing and let's see what's underneath it. Right here, you can see another box which has all of the cables in it. And it also has the pen and the pen holder. Inside the pen holder are some extra nibs. Another thing you'll see is a plastic bag that has the pamphlet where you have to download the driver, the manual, and the artist glove, also known as a smudge guard. And you can see the tablet itself. Yeah, don't mind me struggling to get it out of the box. <laughs> and I finally got it out. Definitely not almost breaking anything in my studio. <laughs> Taking this off of the plastic bag, you can see the tablet itself. Why are you still struggling, Siege? And ta-da! Here is the tablet. Oh, you can see my reflection. Let me blur that out. <laughs> so there is the tablet. It is very big. And it came in with a built-in stand. A little bit of the features and specifications of the PD2200. It is a 21.5 inch tablet. It has a high definition and fully laminated screen. 92% of NTSC. It has 8 keys on the side that are touch sensitive instead. The pen is battery free and it has a 60 degree tilt support. I'm pretty sure you're already bored out at this part and you're already looking forward to the animation process. So let's get on with it while I test it with the tablet. Of course, before anything else, I have to download the driver. So following the pamphlet that Gaoman provided, I went to the site, downloaded the driver and set things up. Okay, now on to the workflow of how I produce animation memes. First things first, making a model. Once I thought about an animation that I want to do, I would have to set up the model of the character that I'm going to be using. I have to figure out what type of model that I would be using. If it's going to be a 3 4 facing or a default facing, or if it's going to be a front facing model. For this meme, I decided to make a front facing model for my character, Vivian. Plus, I'm going to be using that for AMR in the future. When it comes to making models, making default facing models or 3 4 facing models are the easiest since you already have a reference for it, which is Gacha Club. It takes me about 30 minutes to an hour when the character design is simple, maybe maximum of 2 hours and 30 minutes for complex characters. It would really depend on the character complexity or the flexibility of the model that I would want it to be. Front facing models would definitely take me longer to make since I don't have a reference and I have to get the parts look right. When it comes to making front facing models, it can be hard to eyeball each and every part, like the eyes and how far apart they should be, or the hair and when it comes to turning it, it should be accurate or something like that. 
For this friend facing model, it took me about 3 hours and 30 minutes to finish. But in some models that I made, since I make front facing model commissions, if the character is simple in design, it would take me around 2 hours and 30 minutes. But if it's complex, like having wings, accessories, maybe animal ears, it could take me around 5 hours. Or maybe even more than that. So you could say that this process is already taking long. But wait till you get to the rigging and animation itself. <laughs> Speaking of which, that's going to be the next step. This is the part where all our brain cells will deteriorate. Hopefully not, but I'm having doubts about it. <laughs> anyway, this is probably going to be the longest, most frustrating and annoying part. Rigging. If you're gonna be rigging a 3 4 facing character or the one that has a default facing, then you're pretty lucky since that doesn't really take too long, especially when you have templates. In my experience, rigging 3 4 facing models can take me around an hour, but if it has some complex features like the X and Y angles, that could take me longer than that, maybe about 3 hours maximum. But if it's gonna be a front facing model, that's gonna take you forever. Well, not forever, but it's gonna take you very, very long. This model took me about 9 hours to rig, and the character design is only very simple. Small side note, the reason why it takes me this long when it comes to rigging is because of how the parts are separated in the model. So if you have your model parts separated in some sort of way, maybe when the outlines are separated from the colors, that could also be a reason why it could take you longer as well. So, if the character has more complexity when it comes to the design, and it is a front-facing model, that's probably gonna take a day. Maybe if you're a perfectionist like I am, then that's gonna take you around a day or two, maybe three days. It really depends on your um, experience when it comes to Live 2D. I've been using Live 2D for literally almost three years, so I'm pretty used to it already. But if you're starting with Live 2D and you think you're really slow at it, that's okay. You can go at your own pace. I'm just simply showing on how I make my videos. So don't be discouraged when it comes to rigging everything. You don't have to speedrun anything. <laughs> everything takes time, so in this process, I'd say patience is definitely a virtue. But when you're done rigging your model, the results are going to be worth it. And before you know it, you'll realize that you are done with the most frustrating part. And now it's time for the fun part. Animation! This is a part where you actually animate your character into doing the movement of the animation meme. I consider this as the most fun part when it comes to making an animation meme. Or any video that requires animation in general. Maybe it could be a little bit annoying when you are animating a mini movie or a series. Especially when you're a perfectionist. But when it comes to making gacha memes, this is kind of like considered as the fun part. So, make the most of it. <laughs> And the last thing that I do is editing the overall video. This is where I add the effects and the transitions that I want the gacha meme to have. Here, I am not using Live 2D anymore, and I'm using a different software, which is After Effects. If you're going to be using After Effects, the interface could be a little bit intimidating for you since there is just so much to take in, especially when it comes to the features and the options that it has. But don't get intimidated by the software. Just keep experimenting, watch tutorials, and you'll eventually get it. I don't really consider myself as a pro in After Effects, by the way. And seeing people asking me for a tutorial on it, I don't really know if I should do it. <laughs> since I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> so again, just experiment and watch tutorials. That'll definitely help you out in getting through this part. And that's basically how I 
make gacha memes. This process is just similar to how I make all of my videos, the only difference is the production time. When I make a series like AMR, it's definitely gonna take longer, like I'm not even gonna specify how long it takes since it really depends. Now that I got that out of the way, I'm gonna be expressing my overall thoughts and opinions about the PD2200. You forgot that this is a review video, didn't you? <laughs> this is my first time using an actual tablet when it comes to editing videos like this. I usually use a tablet when it comes to making models or drawings instead of actually editing videos. But when I used this tablet, it was way easier for me, especially in the rigging process. The screen is really large and I really got comfortable with it right away since comparing the screen size of my laptop to the screen size of the tablet, it's definitely way way bigger and it's easier for me to see things more. Since this tablet is so big and it already has a stand behind it, it's really meant to be in one place only. Whether it's your desk, your studio, or anywhere you work, it should only be on that place. It's not portable, so if you're always on the go, this tablet may not be for you. Though since the tablet is so big, I have so much room to draw on. When I was making the PSD models, I didn't have a hard time at all. Well, except for the fact that I could get annoyed by the touch keys at the side. Since it is touch sensitive and instead of pressing them, I tend to go over those keys and I would accidentally press one, so that's just the only thing that I had trouble with. But those keys actually function quite well, though I didn't really use them that much since I used a tour box for my shortcut keys or sometimes my keyboard. The pen is battery free, meaning you don't have to charge it, not like the one in the PD1560, and it is very responsive and lightweight, so I didn't have any issues with it. Overall, even though this is my very first large pen display, I immediately got used to it and I absolutely loved it. Comparing the price of this large tablet to other pen displays in the industry, this definitely stands out because this is one of the most affordable large pen displays I've ever seen. If you're someone who wants to take digital art more seriously, and if you want a tablet with a larger work area, or if you just want another second monitor, then this tablet is definitely for you and I highly recommend that you get it. Psst. Actually, if you want to check out this tablet or any other tablets from Gaoman, use the link in the description box below because not only it'll help Gaoman a lot, but it'll also help me in my end. So please use the links in the description box below, alright? And that's all I have for this video. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. I know this is really really long, but it's what you guys requested. So I hope you learned something on how I usually make my videos and that you understand the pain and suffering that I go through every single one of them. I'm kidding, I, I enjoy making videos, all right? <laughs> Thank you to Gaoman for sending me this wonderful large pen display. I really had fun using it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and turn that bell on, ring a ding ding so that you won't miss any uploads or content from yours truly. Anyway, that's all for me. See you in the next video. Stay amazing and God bless. Siege out.